My name's David Thorpe. I'm the Centre Manager here at Ardroy Outdoor Education Centre. Our programmes are all about building young people's skills such as team working, resilience, to try and give them a memorable experience in the outdoors but subconsciously they take away so much because they're out of the classroom, they're out of their home environment, it's totally different for them. It's amazing to see how those children develop in the week that they're here at Ardroy. First and foremost what we're here to do is create big memorable experiences. Quite often the young folks that come to us they don't normally get the opportunities to have really big experiences and we've got an opportunity here to create those and we think that they're really important experiences to have. So having the accommodation that the children and young people can stay in is absolutely key. The accommodation block that we've got currently is 50 years old, it's really not fit for purpose, it's too small, and we haven't got the key facilities like meeting rooms and, and drying rooms for the clothes that we need. It's energy inefficient, it's high cost to run, so actually replacing that, that block will allow us to continue to provide this, this excellent outdoor experience for, for future generations. One area that we struggle with a little bit is we like to spend the end of the day looking back over the day and getting them to self-reflect and assess what learning that they have achieved. One area that we're a little bit limited in is spaces around the centre that are out of the rain that we can, we can do that. Um, what we do in the outdoors is great. I think you know we're there and um, it's about just improving everything else and making sure they have a nice quality um, accommodation to stay in. The key challenge we have is funding that new accommodation block. As a charitable trust, the surpluses that we generate are quite small and they are all reinvested in, in new equipment or improving the facilities for the children to be able to to deliver those activities. So really, um, we are looking for some support to be able to, to, to generate that funding that will allow us uh, you know, to, to, to continue to provide the experiences that we're providing. I think if we achieve the funding and we put that new accommodation block in place, one of the main things for us is, is inclusion, so we'd be able to widen um, the, the availability to bring people that have got disabilities into the centre. But if we haven't got the accommodation that they can stay, then that is, that is exceptionally difficult. Um, the activities, they're like abseiling, you know, when you go to ladder like half an hour, so I'm looking forward to that too. When my sister went, she went to the top, so I want to go to the top. And then my sister will be proud. <laughs> Yeah, I think my friends are enjoying it because I always see them, they're always smiling and happy. Well I have a friend called Patrick and he's like he's got cerebral palsy and he done the big um ab ceiling down the cliff so everybody's really proud of him. That like I can complete challenges and like not give up easily. I felt like I had the perseverance not to give up easily. It was amazing and I really want to go back. I'm Karen Hart, I'm the Deputy Head Teacher at Donnelly Bristol Primary with a responsibility for the older children, the primary fives to primary seven. Um, I don't think anyone would ever dispute the benefits of young people being outdoors and being connected with nature and getting a love of the, the world we live in. But what our joy does is so much more than just that residential experience. It really is quite amazing what they can do with children. But the impact when we come back to school from the Ardroy experience is enormous. And that's down to the, the staff that work at Ardroy. They seem to have this way of making sure that children arrive and leave with a greater sense of self-belief than when they arrived. That accommodation block will have seen thousands of thousands of thousands of youngsters go through it. It's kind of time for, for a change. It needs to rest and it needs to have a refurbishment. The number of people that have benefited from coming to our joy is, is incredible. Months, sometimes years after someone has been to our joy, if we ask them, you know, what can you remember from that week, they'll be able to pull out loads and loads of really big, important experiences and memories. I think the thing that instructors here that 
we like to hear the most is the statement, I didn't know I could do that. Um, and, and that's that little bit of our Troy magic. That's what we want to hear. Well, it does make a difference. It, it, it does change people's lives. And we would love to be able to continue that for, for future generations of children and young people. If you'd like to come and visit us at our Troy, you'd be exceptionally welcome. And if you want to find more about us, you can find it at ardroy-oec.co.uk.